I am in a dark place right now. My husband and I have been married now for four years now. I'll give you all the necessary background so you can give me better advice. I am an American-born Indian woman. I grew up with really conservative parents that didn't let me go out didn't let me play outside because then my skin would be too dark. I went to an out-of-state college, and there being so far from my parents, I really let loose. I had a fair bit of casual sex, drank alcohol, went to parties. In particular there was a group of guys that I used to go to parties with. The thing was a lot of times, if things didn't work out they would pressure me to have sex with them. I would sometimes do it. One time they offered me a ride to the airport and then on the way there they told me to give them a blow job or they would leave me on the side of the road. I ended up getting sick of these guys and I tried to cut them out of my life. In turn, they did the best to ruin my reputation. My senior year of college was extremely bad, I didn't go out. I lost a lot of my friends. Afterwards, I got a job in another state and I did my best to put that part of my life behind me. Then on I tried traditional American dating for a couple more years, and things didn't pan out so I had my parents help set me up with guys. Now the thing, is my parents knew that I dated, however they never thought I would be the one to have sex. So whenever, they talked to people they told them she doesn't party or do this or that. I thought I would try to talk to the guy in private and clear things up. However, when I met my husband I decided not to tell him. He was a virgin, and I thought if I told him about my past he would freak out. He really liked the perception of me, as a virgin. He treated me better than any other guy I had been with previously, just a kind soul. Things were good, I was living a new life. My husband had a great job, I was respected and well-liked in the Indian community. Me and my husband recently bought a house and are pregnant with our first child. One day I came home from work and I found my husband just crying. When I went to comfort him he told me to die. He showed me that he got a message from a fake South Park Facebook account and there was a video of me giving a blow job to a guy. I never knew about this video, or anything like it. My husband called me a stupid whore, told me hated me. He told me that he hopes I miscarry, so that way he can divorce and have nothing to do with me. For the next couple hours he just yelled at me while I cried. Since we got together he has been insecure about his penis size, and the guy in the video had a much larger penis. He kept asking me how many guys I have slept with, how big were their penises. To add to it all, I told him that I think blow jobs are gross, and I never gave him one. I never enjoyed giving them, and I really didn't want to have to start. Since then he told me he wants to kill himself that I have ruined his life. I tried to talk to him the best I can, however he hasn't been listening. For the past couple days he just pretends I don't exist. His brother talked to him and I think he convinced him not to divorce, however I don't think things will ever be the same. I don't think he will ever look at me the same way again. I know that I messed up and I should have been honest from the start however I don't know what to do now. I don't know how to even take down that video it's on one of those tube sites. If they decide to share it with my family members, I am pretty sure even my parents will disown me. Every day I live with so much anxiety. Of the friends I have now, none of them know the details of my past, so I can't even go to talk to any of them about it. Story 2. Found out wife 28 female of 14 years cheated a couple years ago on vacation. How do I handle things from here? We've been together since we were 14, got married at 23 and have been married for 5 years. We celebrated our 5th wedding anniversary in June. Recently we'd been discussing kids and a couple nights back we were drinking a bit and the topic ended up on pregnancy scares. We had a couple of those back in college and then my wife drunkenly mentioned the one in 2017. Which sobered me up real fast since the last time we had one was 2012 when we were both 21. I was like what do you mean 2017? And she got this weird expression on her face before trying to play it off like it was a drunken slip of the tongue but I've been with her since we were 14. I know when something's up with her and I said no you're lying, tell me WTF do you mean about a scare in 2017? She tried playing it off again and leaving and at this point my mind was running away from me so I grabbed her hand and said tell me what the hell you're talking about. Then she just breaks down and starts crying as if her parents just died. She told me in 2017 when she took a holiday with her two friends, they met some guys and partied with them a few days before the trip ended. It was 10 days long and this would have been day 6. They went to the guy's place to continue hanging out and her friends had sex with a couple of them. She said she stayed drinking Abbott with another and had been firm about being married. However the dude was handsome and charming and persuaded her to have some fun. He pointed out she was thousands of miles away from her husband, he'd me never know and this might be her chance to have sex with someone else other than the one guy she'd only ever slept with. She said she resisted at first but at some point didn't think of me or us and just went with it. She slept with him twice that night then a few more times over the remaining days of the trip. Her friends didn't ask or say anything and she said she felt guilty but did it anyway. On the last day of the trip her friends and her were back at the hotel when one of them said don't worry we won't say anything, what happens here stays here. And she just broke down crying over there. According to her she felt like it was a full-on mental breakdown. 
They comforted her and said they'd support her but she made her decision to have sex with the guy multiple times. She said she felt like such a piece of shit and before she came home she called me and said she'd get a ride to her mother's where she'd be for a few weeks. She got tested during this time period and debated over what to do. She wanted to tell me but didn't want to lose me and so resolved to put it in the past and just be a better faithful wife from then on. Since then she hung out with those women a lot less and I'll admit she seemed to try very hard to be a good wife and lover after she came home. I thought she just missed me a lot but now I know she was overcompensating. Which lead to the other night. I feel like my mind is just in a daze. I paced around the parking lot for like an hour at work and my boss even asked if everything was okay and told me to head home if I wanted. She's been trying to speak to me crying a lot. I hate that she's acting as if she's the one hurt by my ignoring her right now. She's been promising she'll always be a great wife but the fact is that she fucked another man multiple times and if not for a stupid conversation coming up while drinking I'd never know. Then there's the part of me wondering if she ever cheated before, if there were ever other scares with guys. What did she really do all the time she hung out with friends? Suddenly I'm questioning most of 14 years together. I'm a loss as to what I should do here. I still madly love her but suddenly the sight of her makes me want to punch something or just grab her and scream in her face till my voice stops working. I hate that I feel like this.